everybody, it's totally awesome fishing again and this time we're going to be taking you to a public house over by Henley on Thames where there are an awful lot of case fish there. Some of them are prime collectibles. One of them is an absolutely gargantuan pike that I could absolutely take to bed with me actually, this one. It's a beauty. Do you know what it is? I reckon it's not far off 50 pounds. Wait till you see it. We got the exclusive interview with the Totally Awesome crew and the landlord that owns a pub. It's called the Flower Pot Pub. It's near Henley on Thames. Get over there, boys. Get yourself a pint and look at some of these fish. So, but it's had, it had a collection of fish in, in here prior to me taking it over. And you yourself, obviously, an enthusiastic fisherman. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone into this like oh, the rest yeah. of us are oh, mad yeah. on fishing. Yeah, right. So, what? How did you start? Well, I've always story? lived in the Henley area, so I've always fished the Thames for, you know, course fishing and quite, you know, quite regularly I used to go down and fish the Thames. What sort of stuff did you used to catch, you know, back then in the uh, early days? There was a lot of big chub about then, and so that was up near the uh, locks. Um, but we fished down here, there's a lot of, nowadays, a lot of big carp, so we fished the carp down there. What sort of size would they run at any Well, you've got one over there, that, that weighs, that's 28, that one. And um, some go 30-odd. So that's big fish, big yeah, fish. Big I know they do get fish in there. Yeah, different kettle of fish to catch a carp out of the Thames and it is out of the lake. Absolutely, different fight too. A lot too. more powerful, yeah, a lot more powerful. So, you know, there's a lot of nice fish around here. What sort of method would you use compared with years ago? What would you, is it, are you using traditional methods or are you into sort well, of Well, funny enough, I take them on broily. Even in the Thames, I take them on a broily. Yeah. So, you know, use a broily. But, um, and barbel, do you get the barbel up here? Because I read they yeah, get Yeah, that's up by the lock weir, up by the weir, where the water's moving through. Big fish or? Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah not too bad. And from doing the course fishing, what did you progress to then? You, I see you've got salmon well, cases well, around we, the Well, I go to Scotland uh, two or three times a year. Um, um, I'll go to a place called, it's called the Balathe Hotel. It's on the Tay. It's in between Perth and Stanley. And so I'll go up there and fish the salmon. And what time of year and what method? Tell well, we go, go up in March. We go right away through till September time. So. And now is that all fly or do you start spinning yes, and then uh, go? It's different methods. So you can change? Yeah, you can change up there, yeah. You can worm it still up there. And what size fish, you know, what, what is it like? Well, I had the record twice up there. Is that right, right really? Yeah, two years running, That's both hen fish. One was 24 and a half and the other was 23 and a half. Oh, so they're still, it's still good salmon fishing then? Oh yeah, it's catch and release virtually now, is which is right? a good thing, which is a good thing, yeah. Trout fishing up there at all? Do you do any other Cat, fishing? You can you catch trout in the of there, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Now tell us something about the history because these are all, or majority of them, what I call skin mounts, aren't they? They've been done traditionally. Oh yeah. So was it a famous taxidermist that did all well, this? There was a lot of coopers in here. He was the top man at the time, and then you had a lot of his apprentices. There was Annis, and there was Griggs. They were his apprentices. So I've got a few of those. But the, the one who founded the firm, the old man Cooper, I've got a pike of his there, oh, that's 18 or something, and that, he used to leave the trace in the mouth, so when it was case, you still had the oh, really? trace in the mouth of the fish, yeah. And you've got one over there, that's how I So the majority of Cooper's was Reading, wasn't it? Oh, I've got four. No, he's London. in London. He's London, was he? Well, I thought yeah. he was a Reading based. No, he's yeah. London, yeah. no. Yeah. But he was uh, one of the most famous, if not the most yeah. famous. Yeah, and he, the, the, the apprentices all, all come off him. I believe Homer was one of his apprentices as well. Yeah. I believe so. And Homer, to me, was a, a perfectionist at the background. All the background, he'd done the, the reeds and... Yeah, the he's got to be... I mean, you can look and, at... And, and the, he was the best, I should think. Yeah. And lots of the women that painted them back, because they, they completely wash them off. Lots of women are painting back. Uh, uh, sorry, lots of the people are painting back are women. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, they paint them back perfect, scale perfect. Because they do what each individual scale on some of Virtually, these. Virtually, yeah, yeah. Virtually every scale because they, when they, they use a solution of borax and formaldehyde, and that uh, petrifies the fish virtually the skin. Wash it back off with petrol. Funny enough, modern days, really? and then. That's stuffed and 
but I think the modern day ones now I've done the polystyrene injection I'm almost certain that's how they're done but quantity wise the older ones that I still feel they're the best mounts oh, yeah. is that the way you well, know, the are. way they are done the care that's taken with yeah, them yeah you've got nice bow front cases and the gold leaf and you know so and how many cases are there I had a rough count and got to 60 and I mean how many have you got because they're, they're even you've even got a 20 pound one in the gents WC yes <laughs> They gave me a bit of a shock. Um, I should imagine I've got over 70 cases here, there and everywhere. Yeah. Now one which we're going to take a look at and I'll go a bit more in depth to is an absolutely huge pike up there over the fireplace. Tell me some of the history of that one. Well, it came out of a basement in Acton. It was pretty well smashed about a bit. And uh, some builders found it. And a chap who repaired it was an Albion from Romford, a good, very good friend of mine he was, and he died about two, three years ago, Christmas time. And he actually said for the size of the fish, he believed that it was the missing one in the Fred Buller book, yeah. which he caught some really large fish on Fred Buller. And we believe that's so. No one's come up with any other... Explanation to that fish? No. So the size-wise, I mean, it looks awfully close to 50 pounds. So what, what is well, the... They, well, I think we put it at 46 on the case, but them thinking about it and measuring it, it's, it is closer to 50. It looks it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now, you've got another big fish in there as well, I think. Was it in your other yeah, bar? Yeah, that that's uh, 4110. And what was that one? That was a and that was called uh, um, Graf and Waters which I believe they tested the bouncing bomb in a war, I'm not sure. Someone actually said they did, but I'm, I'm not convinced they did. That's Barnes Wallace, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Which they may well have done. So the age on some of these pike, you know, I mean, does anybody know, you know where this one came from, physically no. where this one came no. from? So no, no lake or river or what? No, no, nothing was with it. it was so that pretty is well the... A, all the case was damaged. It's pretty well in a bad statement. Took on a job to repair. And yeah. made a superb, a superb job. job. It's absolutely. Yeah. We're we'll taking a look at it. It's absolutely magnificent fish. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. All of course. All the male pike only grow up to about ten pounds. So all the big fish, uh, all the big pike are female, and a lot of them die spawn bound. Yeah. You know, the two or three years of spawn back up inside them, and they just die. And that's where they get the big girth on them. Yeah. Get the belly on them. Yeah. 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 And that's what normally sort of winter time, February is it? They they, they you yeah, get the biggest fish. Yeah. yeah. Now you've got some other um, record or previous British record fishes in here. What what are those there's, species? There's that you Clark's have? roach. I think that's five three. There's the previous one, which is four one, I believe. And there's a gudgeon there. They're called gudgeon. Really? Yeah. Oh, we we'll get a picture of that one as well. Yeah. yeah. Now I think at the other bar you had that was it the public bar you had a uh, crucian carp. Yeah, some crucians in there. Uh, big fish. Uh, what sort of size yeah, on there? They are for crucians. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember the weight, but how quite big for cruising. Yes, yeah. Do you know how many different species you've got in here? No. You don't? <laughs> I haven't got a bleak, which I'd, I'd have had LBO. I'd like to have had about 10 or 12 bleak in one case. Yes. But we never got around to that. That was my next go. And are these salmon yours up on the wall that we can we, we, we see up on the wall there? Or those Not ones you caught in? No, Not there's, one, caught. there's one case right at the far end of the... Yes. Uh, me and my partner called. This woman the other day, I bought a trout off her up on the wall there. One on the, on the left hand side. Quite near to me as well, Hamilton. Oh, really? Yeah. Just across the water. Do they still get uh, brown trout, wildies in, in the Thames here? Well, or is say, it a rarity? They say they do. But whereabouts? Yeah. <laughs> Not so many of them there. Uh, and you've got two enormous boar heads right up there. You know, what are they, uh, what's the history on those? British ones? No, they're from, I bought them from a chap who imported them from France. They're French ones, yeah? Yeah, they imported them from France, yeah. How it looked when it was dead, actually, it, it looks... It was it that colour. Yeah, one. exactly that colour. It don't look like that, but, you know. And you call it, what was it? You call it the old Friesian. We yeah. call it old Friesian, but it's black and white. Now, right next to that, you've got grass carp. grass carp. Yeah. And what, what's that story on that one? I haven't one? got a story on that. LB, LB all cased the fish, and I bought it off of him, so I don't know the history of it. 
Any date on that one? Is that a modern fish? That's modern, a modern fish. That modern one. fish. Yeah, it looks well done. There's other cases have been done, though. Yeah. It's then done in that traditional sort of Cooper type background. Oh, yeah, there, which it's is very good out You know, from this distance, I would be hard pushed to say whether that was, uh, you know, an original old fish. That's right. Or, or a modern one. It doesn't. Yeah, so uh, it's it, that good. It, it was unbelievable. Uh, what he used to do. I'm a very good friend of mine. And a species like your Xander and your Barb, all of that, they're just ones you've caught yourself and had done? No, no. Or, not, or the, ones only ones off, the only ones I've had done are at the far end of the salmon. I've, I've had no other case. I don't like killing fish myself. He used, yeah. to, he used to do the uh, the green background on his. Oh, I always say yes. Right, yeah. and uh, Cooper was always blue. Oh, but right. he was an apprentice to, you know, 1953, I think, he was an apprentice to Cooper. I think it was that time. And what other sort of species? Like, you got your tiger fish. Oh, we'll see that's yeah, out there's a friend of mine caught that. Out in the... Uh, out in the Kariba. Kariba? Yeah. yeah. Just collected and I'd keep collecting if they're about, but they're not about. It's getting hard all the time. I well, you, I believe you can't case a fish now. I'm not sure. I don't think. I think it's illegal. Only a game fish you can do now. Is that right? I don't think you can do river fish. They stopped it because so many fish were being taken out and killed. And some of these uh, trout, they're wild wild fish, the wild oh, yeah, brown yeah. trout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. caught locally a lot of them. Something I goring, son in places like that. And, you know. Quite local to the area. As I say, the the one that were the main the one that were caught in Henley with the A.A. Ops collection. I went after them. I didn't get them, but um, that was a sealed bid. And they, the brewery actually sold them as a batch. As a batch, twenty-two cases. Okay. And, they, and uh, someone bought them and put them in the um, River Rome Museum. And what there's sort not, of there's not many on display there. I'm going to say what what sort of species would there well, be been in there? Yeah, there'd be the barbel. All mixed. Green, the perch, yeah, all mixed. But that's a, a sort, of, sort of a shame when you see them almost go to... I mean, I've got some fish myself, I like this, obviously. But it's almost a shame because no one gets to see them. And at least you've got well, the public is, here. That is the same. Yeah, well, this is like a little mini museum. Yeah. I see behind you, you've got two pretty big well, carp they, they were taken out of Barn Elms Reservoir when they were repairing it. And they couldn't find a compatible water. There was the PO, you know the age in the water wasn't compatible for them to be moved. So they put them down. And big fish, are they? Big fish, yeah. So Tony, I see that a lot of these cases have got bows on them. Some have got a curved edge to the uh, side of the case. Uh, is that difficult to get nowadays? Well, you, the old, it is, yeah, but the, the old fashioned way of doing it, I've been told, is they lay the sheet of glass down, run a line of methylated spirits across the middle, Set fire to it. When it comes to the desired curve, blow it out. And that's how they get. And the it curve. sets like that. It yeah. sets like that, yeah. But it must be almost. You've got a pike up at the back there with a curved edge going right round to the wall. It must be yeah. almost impossible to get that done now. Yeah. And what sort of price would that per foot? Are you a meter, a foot? What's well, the cost? Years ago, go. It was a hundred pound a foot to do. So. I suppose in 20 years it would be double that. Any particular company that used to make that? Would it be a specialist company? I wouldn't know, but they'd have to do... They would be a shop front com company because lots of shop fronts, including Arabs, used to have big, long, 17-foot tall pieces of glass all bowed. So they were, they were pretty keyed up to the aim. Yeah, they could do it then, yeah. They could do it then, yeah. There's a bream up there, and I quite like that bream. That looks almost like the colour of the bream you would sort of catch straight yeah, out of the water. Yeah. So that, that would have been, would that be a possibility? That's blue, so that's a cooper, is it? Yeah. Yeah, so that, that does look nice, that colouring on that one. Yeah, yeah that's a cooper. 1923. And possibly not renovated, Tony, no? I mean, no, that's no. as it was, sealed it was, in there. Yeah. So, I mean, that really is pretty good, uh, pretty good condition. Yeah, as they are. And the backgrounds don't fade or anything, yeah. A lot of people take them and varnish them and ruin them. Yes. They take the front off the case. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put my the hand up, up yeah. Varnish, yeah. So it ruins them. You know, they shouldn't be shiny. What sort of value do you put at some of your more prized assets? You know, what, like your big pike, I mean, you probably couldn't put a price on that one. Well, they right? go up and down like the stock market, don't they? they, they you know, sometimes they're in favour. Yes. And, and sometimes they're not. So you can't really judge what they're, what they, what they're worth, actually. And each fish is different, I imagine, depending on, yeah. you know, who, yeah. who's cased it, who caught it, the yeah. date of it, has yeah. it got the original lettering and stuff on it? And most of these... For the money you pay from years ago, it's probably a good pension now. Yeah, yeah. there will be a lot of value here, yeah. And 
I just hope that when I when I leave this place, someone leaves them all in. You know, someone can afford to keep them. Yeah. It's a shame to break them up. It's oh, taken you so, now what, would, yeah. 20 years to put them 20 together? 20 years to build a collection, yeah. It would be a shame just to... to see it broken up, yeah. 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 No, they, yeah, actually, uh, the children ask their parents, what's that? You know, that's a fox thing. That's a fox. And they'd never seen it before. Which yeah. is very sad, really. It's, it's almost educational. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much so, yeah. Well, certainly interesting. Tony, thank you very much for letting us have a look. We'll, we'll hopefully get a few uh, nice pictures out of this as well. And it'd be just nice to show other anglers, you know, what an incredible collection this is. And it, as I would say, this has got to be, without a shadow of a doubt, the fishiest pub in the British Isles. And if you get a chance to come in, if you're a fisherman, I think Phil will agree with me, you've absolutely got to come in and have a drink at least, because it's something to see. So, Tony, thank you very much for thank your you time. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bloody hell, look at the size of that. I mean, I'm talking about the pipe, guys. Even the gents WC. There's a 23 pound pipe.